Now we're going to start reassembling the, the, the tube itself. The first part goes in is this metal casting. The thin end goes in first. So we want to make sure we have the gun or the tube upside down. That This has the one channel and the hole here. So we're going to slide it in, get it to go all the way down, and bring it back here. Hopefully the cameraman can get that. Take my little screwdriver and line the hole up straight. Now this is your shaft that goes through the gun and holds the, the stock to the bottom part of this tube. All right, and you just screw that back in. That keeps everything tight. That's the first piece. All right, now we're going to roll it over. This is your top of your gun. Two channels. This is the hammer. So we want to take the flat part down, slide it in. And it takes one of these pins you see laying here. Now I'm just going to take my finger and push it forward. All right. Now, for the second part, I'm going to put the gun back down. This is where we use the screw at. Or excuse me, the, the spring at. I'm going to pick up the spring, spring retainer, slide the sharp piece on first. Get it to cooperate with me. There we go. And then the original spring, I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to twist it into that. And that's it. Now, with the hole up, we're going to bring the two back up and I'm going to get it over toward the camera. And we're going to slide this inside the gun. Now here's your other little pin. And what these do, when you pull your bolt back, I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn this bolt upside down. I'm going to lay the tube down. And I'll turn this bolt over where you can see it. Right here, each pin, the, the rear pin, it's got to come in this spot here. The front pin has got to stay in this channel here. See, because that's what moves your bolt back and forward. All right, so we got the two pins in. Now, the other part that comes with the kit is this. That's your valve seal that goes between the tube and the bolt. Now, what I do is take a little Vaseline, and I either Vaseline, you use Molly Duber, you can actually use anything. And I'll take it, get it in this one. Alright. And that, that Vaseline will kind of hold it in place while you lift this bolt up and you put the two pins in it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand it up on this end. Let the cameraman follow up here. Alright. Remember, we want to hook it into that slot and into the forward slot. So, since I, I'm not... Okay, we got it. Alright, boat's tight, so that's good. Alright, now, I'm going to take my thumb and push it back. Now, this has got to go back even with the end of the receiver. Alright, you line it up with that hole. It's that simple. This screws it to the tube. Alright, I'm going to roll it over. If cameraman get that gap, you can see that seal in between there. That's what we're looking for. All right, I'm going to roll it back around, and we're going to tighten this little rascal up. All right, that's the hard part. Now you're ready to lay it down here where you can see it. Your bolt's caught. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put the trigger group back in. Alright, very simple. This is the plug on the end. Line it up with the hole. This is the casting. You see the two little grooves? That's for your, your scope. So it's rounded right here. And that goes in the rounded part goes right there. Very simple. And then your long screw will go through these two castings and your sharp screws in front. Alright, it just goes in like that, down, and you tighten up. All right, I finished installing the two screws, trigger groups ready to go. Now, the next step 
move his barrel band out. We want to reassemble, and you see the three little O-rings there, and again I'll come with my magic Molly Lube or whatever you want to put them. This this make it, I use a little Vaseline. This makes it slide in. But before we do this, I almost missed a step, an important step, because this is a kit. This 5 30 seconds drill bit, why did I have it on a table? We bore this hole out right here. And that will allow more air to go up into the receiver. And you can bore it out a little bit more than that, but that's what I use, a 5 30 second. Very simple, takes one second, put on your little drill, bzz, you're in. So you bore that out. Of course, any shavings, you make sure it's, it's clear. Now you're ready to slide it back in. Very simple. You put it in there, you push it in. Then you come back with your hex nut. That locks it into place. And then we have pushed the barrel in to the receiver. And here's a little, a little retaining nut. I'll screw it down. And that locks it in place. Pull that out. That's your barrel band. Now on some some of the the 78s out there, they use the plastic. This is the plastic one. Barrel band keeper. The newer ones are a, a aluminum. Very simple. Some of these are a little tight. You just go right here, spread it open a little bit, they'll slide on. This is the plastic one and it'll, it'll slide on down. And then some of the guns like I said, there's so many, over the years we've had modifications, some, you'll see a slot cut in here. And that is, for the bolt that goes through here, it goes through this slot, and it retains it. Some are not, the plastic ones are not. So, you know, if you have to cut a little slot, you can take a little angle file, wherever you want to put your your barrel band and just file a little slot across there because it's a real small screw, small gap. You can see how small it is. And you can put the barrel band wherever you want. We're going to put the gun back into the stock. And as you see, it goes this simple. Drop it in. Again, the screw that holds it in the stock, it's there. All right, now we got it back in the stock, tightened up. We're going to come in and put the safety back in. Again, I'm going to take the little screwdriver here, see if I can get this thing to cooperate with me. Now come in here and I'm going to push the plunger up. There we go. It's got to go up inside, just like that. You take the safety, put it right in the middle. Magic. All right, now the gun is assembled. All right, again, you put your sights back on, and of course I have the sights laying here. You screw your, your valve in, and of course, use your Teflon tape. This is just a little rubber seal. It does nothing, it's just a gap spacer, but that's what it looks like when it's put back together. This is a Again, eighth inch, quarter inch. Valves inside. This is a seven eight thousand uh, psi valve. It's wonderful. It's safe. It's quick, and we will have the female quick disconnects to go with this. And uh, you know, I, I, we'll show them at a little later date. But that's the assembly of a PCP gun. And again, at the end, you see on this one, I've left the the barrel band out here. I can move it back to here where, where the, the barrel's notch. Anywhere you want to put it, you can put it. I like it out here on the end because it kind of stabilizes everything, but that's up to you. But it's ready to go. All you do is charge it, put your 3,000 PSI in it, and you're ready to go. It's that simple.